125 FPS March League. I'm on Cypher off the beginning on his map pick. He's got the shotgun. He's going to encounter Kilson immediately, but doesn't want to go too close. That red has already been taken. Kilson's going to be able to get a little bit more armor. Oh, yes. Kilson really needed to do that machine gun damage because it means that now he's able to get the rocket and maybe plant a trap when Cypher is picking up his LG and trying to leave. It doesn't really do that much damage. Oh. oh. Kill that rocket, Landis. Yeah, a little bit of a cheeky rocket over here. There's a wild to light to spawn. Oh. He's going to get a little wow. bit more uh, chip damage. I wonder if he's going nice. to be waiting at the teleporter exit. Yep, there he is. Oh, but Kilson did no damage there. Cypher could do a very aggressive attack at this mega. In fact, he's going to be stealing it. Kelson decides to cut his losses there. He's not going to play overly aggressive, take too many risks. He wants to this have a good start kind of stuck this. in here. Cypher knows exac exactly where he is. Trying to fake the rocket jump, seeing if Kilson's going to show up. There's Kilson, and Kilson might steal the wrath. Oh, he almost stole the first blood as well. Cypher down to 50 health. Yeah, and that uh, 50 health level is gone. And Kilson, you should know that Cypher's low. He should be picking up the top yellow. Thing is, did he get the favorable enough spawn? To do that, well, Cypher's giving him a lot of time. Didn't Cypher just pick up that 50, that yellow armor? Why is he waiting for it to spawn again? Yeah, I don't think he, I think it was. He just seems to be playing very carefully. He feels like Kilson's taken a lot from the map. In fact, he's only taken the mega health, and Cypher will be able to get that red. Yes, Kilson so didn't Kilson's even take the well rockets. Enough. He was giving a lot of respect to Cypher, waiting for him to come in center map. So they were and both doing that. <laughs> yeah. Both sharing the mutual respect. Oh, well, Cypher's sneaking around. And no sign of uh, the German just yet. He's checking down in the red area, but just, just doesn't really know where he's gone. He hears him behind. Yep. What's going to happen to Mega? Just Unchallenged. going to let him get the Mega to, in order to pick himself uh, the rocket launcher. So both players, the next time they meet up, they'll both be 200-200 and with all the weapons. I'm going to switch over to Kilson just briefly, see what he's up to. He's going to get the uh, first blast of MG onto Cypher there. Actually, probably doing about 30-40 damage. But he's still being careful. He doesn't have that Mega that uh, Cypher has recently picked up. And the LG, who's going to be looking stronger on this. Are they going for a commitment? 50 health level taken by the German. He goes Whoa. for the rockets. But Cypher still has a lot of health remaining. Yeah, Kilson got pretty much crushed in that LG fight. Oh, yeah. But he's going to be able to steal that mega health away and hopefully turn things around quickly, but Cypher's oh, rocket's oh, coming to play. 50 health bubble will get taken by Kelson, but he's got to play that slow game again. He's got to get himself onto the yellows. More chip damage, but... Kelson being there doing the damage to Cypher, it probably means that Kelson has no uh, health whatsoever. And since Cypher just picked up that uh, 50 HP above, Kilson is still very low on health. Cypher could try to get the frag done very quickly. He hears Kilson screaming. Yep. Wow, Kilson making a very aggressive play there. It was hoping that maybe he could steal that red while Mega was being taken. But uh, Cypher, you know, he had dominant control just then. And Kilson again putting the pressure on. He's not hitting enough LG damage. But that was, that was good damage. Oh, but Cypher. That's gonna be oh that does does not get a frag since he he's LG runs out of ammunition but that was a, a, some good damage from Kilson because now Cypher is has, has to pick up this red armor and has no armor whatsoever so one good rocket from Kilson could turn this around. I and almost wish he would drop onto the red there from the top. Cypher with no rockets, no LG, but still managing to get two major items mm. back to back. Yeah, and Kilson actually not going for it anymore. He maybe thought that he hasn't done enough damage to capitalize on the on the aggressive attack he made. Oh, well, Cypher's first rocket isn't that great, and Kilson's going to manage to turn things around a little bit. Can he actually convert it to a frag? Cypher won't let him, but it is going to be red for Kilson. He's finally managing to get back onto the larger items on the map. Cypher the just mega? needs a scram. Yeah, mega up in three seconds. Cypher can even challenge for it. Oh, you're going to find Kilson. Oh, that was very close. But Kelson, if he walks through, there's a bit of a choke point, but he finds the frag. Worth the risk in the end. Five seconds though till red spawns. He is hoping the Cypher will not rush him down just yet. Oh, Cypher's drop. What? The rocket bounce from Kilson made Cypher drop to the, the middle platform. Kelson is not rushing that yellow, but he's going to try to set up a little bit of a trap. Cypher not falling for it. And now he's got that light lightning gun. Kelson. <laughs> Nice up to him to find out where Cypher is. He assumes that Cypher's probably on top of the mega health, and rightfully so. 
Warning. Oh, Kilson doesn't actually want to go back for that red in the end. It's a little bit dangerous, a little bit out of his way. It's okay. As long as he makes sure he gets... Well, he, he just let Cypher Rocket jump to the other yellow, so he's going to be needing to do damage and drop what him down. What a weird drop from Kilson. Suicidal moves here, and Cypher's going to re-extend his lead. I, I can't Cypher, see the logic behind that. Yeah, I think Cypher just played at a little bit too fast for Kilson. Because Kilson, if he didn't want the red, he'd have to take both of the yellows. And as soon as he saw Cypher uh, Rocket jumping to one yellow, he knew that he needed to make a lot of damage to make that worth. And as soon as he saw Cypher, Right out, right out in the open, he just thought, okay, I'll just drop the Cypher. He, he was ready for that. Oh yeah, well, clearly that has... I know, I feel like that's a throw, and it's just another way for Kilson to make his own life harder in the, the first map. But of course, it is Cypher's map pick, and this is one of his best maps. So it would be very impressive to see Kilson bringing it uh, a lot closer. That is some awesome damage from Kilson. 40 health left. A good rocket could get the frag. And uh, Cypher will m manage to pick up the red and maybe Kilson will get onto that Mega, but no, he's gone up the bounce pad and Cypher's gonna take it instead. He is massively stacked once again. And the grenade. Kilson only just avoiding it. I think Kilson might either try to go a little bit more aggressive onto the major items to hope that a fight goes in his way or he'll go completely fast. Yep, and aggressive it is. <laughs> he, he manages to make it on there, but does he have enough health behind him to do anything? LG, Cypher almost getting the shotgun out in time. But Kilson was too fast through the teleporter. So Kilson might be able to get this mega health. Is Cypher going to let him? Yep, uh, the Battle Russian runs out of rock over the damage. Kilson, yeah. the mega was up behind you. He doesn't take oh, it. I didn't see the mega. I cannot believe it. I thought that was going to be a brilliant play from Kilson, but... It did not pick up the mega health. I don't think he had timing on it necessarily. I mean, that, that's my only thought, otherwise he, he would definitely have gone for it. Yeah, very unfortunate play from Kilson. I think he initially mistimed it for a couple of seconds, and then he just thought, oh, maybe I mistimed it for a lot more, and as soon as he turned around, Mega Health probably spawned. Yeah, no, I, no, that was exactly it. He was running into the open, and Mega literally just came off of uh, its cooldown. And Cypher's gonna be able to get back on it. So now we're approaching sort of nightmare difficulty for Kilson. He's got to make something. Uh, well, he super knows that the mag is up this time. He Whoa, does he, get it. he gets everything. Cypher just goes full passive. Yeah, he's just well positioned, making sure that if Kilson wants a fight, he needs to go through a choke point. And there's already 250 damage from Cypher, 350, and he could be getting a frag if Kilson isn't careful. Way too much damage. The Cypher's gonna go 100, 200 now. Uh, I'm gonna switch over. Whoa, Kilson's, oh, Kilson's rocket! What a play. Amazing rocket. Cypher but just didn't completely denied. But K Kilson feels okay. I have two rockets. I'm not going to waste these last two rockets on you. And he didn't, but he could be getting a frag really soon. The machine gun on back almost takes down Cypher. I'm gonna switch no. over to Kilson. This is getting very close. Oh. Cypher with the LG, but he is just in time with it. I think that might be GG in a. Just a moment. Yeah. yeah so he was going down, very down, close down. to getting a couple of frags in there, but even then it could be very, very hard for a German player. He basically to had to be at that yellow about not even a second earlier, and it would have been a lot easier to hit a direct rocket, uh, which probably would have secured him the kill then. Uh, Cypher looking very good, and uh, with Bloodrun going to be the second map, Kilson's going to have to uh, step yeah, up like his game a honestly, little bit. Honestly, I did not see any mistake whatsoever from Cypher there. Only missed opportunities when he went a little bit too passive and didn't go aggressive, but obviously just kept the position and he let Kilson get them, the, the item so that he could capitalize on having the position and doing much more damage to Kilson. Yeah. I mean, when uh, Kilson was in the corridor, the then uh, he, he just output so much rocket damage. I mean, a lot of people feel like, alright, you've got to keep getting the items. The items are what keeps you alive and what keeps you going, but, you know, Cypher sacrifices that for actually being able to do twice as much damage as his opponent's able to. Kilson is going to get a kill, but this is just, uh, well, way too late. But he'll try and uh, tighten up the scores a little bit. Air rockets from Cypher, and he's going to have a follow-up as well. Eight to two. Cypher has been hitting a lot of air rockets uh, in the playoffs, to be honest. Unfortunately, not always getting the frag with them. 
<laughs> and the last second of the game, guys. 10 to 2 is the score for the map number 1. We're going to be switching over to Blood Run uh, in just a second. Yeah, and Cypher has been eating a lot of air rockets. And if you guys don't think this uh, this map had enough air rockets, check out the bots from the other day when he played Dash on Blood Run. Yeah, that, that was just silly, really, to be honest. The amount of air rockets there, it, it was outrageous. But uh, Blood Run, Kilson's map, we know that he practices a lot. He's very much Russian in the sense that he, he loves this map. But I, I'm not sure again. I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see to see what he's going to be able to give us. And I hope he hasn't been too disheartened by any of the things that happened on Lost World. Because he's got to stay focused. That is going to be the key to uh, unlocking Cypher here. We're going to get in game though. They're readying up fast. Here it is. Map Three, number two, two of the first semis today. One, fight. I'm going to be on Kilson off the start. Now, Kilson gets pretty much his favorite spawn. Just going to drop to the rail. However, he did not have time to land the rail and Cypher's already putting up oh, the rail. Oh no! What? Well, I he misstepped. That was a complete uh, failure, or failure of the movement there. Yeah, so it seemed. That's first blood for Cypher. This is not... How, yeah, Cypher's like, did you really intend to do that? No, man. That I, I, I could see. His, like, kills yeah. his finger slipped off of uh, one of the directional buttons and it just... Nothing worked, and Cypher is probably feeling a little bit too safe right now. Yeah, this is not how Kilson wanted to start this game, and right from the bat, he is giving Cypher full control over every single item, and Cypher is putting up damage. This could be another frag, yep, Sick. second frag for the Belarusian. I mean, if Kilson actually did manage to get away from the red area, he probably would have taken about 50 to 70 damage from the LG, but he would have gotten away, and he would have still had a couple of weapons to play with. Yeah, now he has nothing. He's on 9 points of health. Relying on the field to around the map. However, he's doing a lot of damage. One good rocket, and what? Kilson just turns it around. I cannot <laughs> believe that Cypher let him get that frag. That was a really big mistake from Cypher. And Kilson could even get this mega. Uh, it's Who's a going little to be getting it? They're, they're both scared of the other one. Oh, and there's a from Kilson. That ended up being better for Kilson, to be honest. Landing the damage. This Effectively, the mega has been completely removed from the equation for, well, from this rotation. Well, not completely, since he landed the. Uh, the rail before, so Cypher still has 150 health. That's yeah, so a lot gone! Mutual Fractor is found up at the top. And look, suddenly appearing on Cypher's point of view, he's gonna have the rail immediately. Grenades! Gonna have to watch out for these oh uh, portables. Some of them are ridiculously close. Oh, Cypher trying to back out. Kilson dropping down regardless. This time he manages to make it a little bit more safe. He can't get on red at the moment though. This is the worrying thing for him. There's the rockets for Kilson as well. How's he gonna get it? Oh, he does. Wow. Reactions from Cypher. High and mighty. And Kilson's where he was a minute ago. Two frags down without any control whatsoever. This time I don't think Cypher is going to make another mistake. Kilson, actually, what? Takes no damage on that. I thought that rocket was going to land Kilson on him. Kilson could position himself on the mega. Cypher, he's going to let him take the mega. Cypher is being a little bit passive on the items. What, but then again, he position? just shows up to do the this amazing damage. His yeah. LG is just—it's been that, incredible that so far. He's just letting Kilson take the item and do 500 damage at each, getting the frag. Backing away, stacking up again. He's just gone faz mode there as well. Rocket jumping down the hallways. Just playing this game oh, quickly. Okay. Oh, the air oh, rocket God. though as he drops. Kilson thought he was going to get away clean, but Mega Health can go to the German. This yeah. isn't all bad for him. Can he evade the damage from Cypher? There's this yellow up and then the top yellow right next to it. And Kilson just wants to do the full circle back to red armor where he can potentially find a very suitable fight for him. But Cypher obviously evaded the air already, positioning himself That's not in where a place Cypher. where he can do a lot of damage. This, this is However, this time what? I don't think he'll be able to get away. Is Kilson gonna chase somehow? Where the hell is he gonna find him? Hmm. Cypher's expecting the direct chase, but he's not coming there. Around there. the corner, there it is. Okay. Kilson back on the board. Three frags between him and Cypher. Very, very good read, but Kilson, by by not seeing the bottom yellow there, he realizes, okay, Cypher, he has 100 damage. But after this threat, oh, this could be another good read from Kilson. I think he heard Cypher going up the, the jump pad again. So he knows that uh, 
Cypher is right about trying to do the red jump. Oh, the red is taken from Cypher going back because he's got that LG out. I think Kilson did narrowly win that fight. Narrowly, uh, yeah. Cypher got away with 30 points of L. Yeah. Considering how much Cypher had uh, before that, though, it's impressive the amount of damage he did. Oh, and he's yep, just an easy gonna chase. He is in water. Great for of the. I don't think he even moved them now. The razor's hit. <laughs> How's he gonna do this though? Mega's up. He's got his drop down there very quickly. And Cypher, yeah, he's feeling a little bit more uh, defensive at the moment. He knows that his lead's he very lead. fragile. He does not need to measure up against skills on all the major items right now. Just needs to keep doing his damage and get, staying alive. I feel like Kilson right now is going to be on a massive comeback. It's up to Cypher to do those crazy outbursts. And Kilson is getting his jumps right. Five minute warning. This needs to find Cypher now. Well, he found him. Now, how is he going to actually approach him? He barely even saw Cypher there, and he already took 100 damage. Luckily for him, there's the item stacking up again. Leaving the, the yellow up could be a very. Yeah, that was a genius trap from Kilson. So nice, he he's gonna that, jump he up. He knew that the yellow was going to spawn two seconds after. He just wanted Cypher to see it, and he wanted Cypher to see him going through the teleporter so that he could make this trap work after. And he's not going to get the frag just yet. He cannot let Cypher stack up because if he does, he might never see Cypher again. Yep. But he's running away hard. It's as if there's like no time left on the clock, but Cypher can't avoid that angle. Mega's gonna be up in a second, and Kilson's gonna get. Very stacked, very fast. A oh, stunning shot, looking for the pixel rail, but nothing there. And rendezvous up at top yellow. Oh, Kissel's got to get back to red, he can't take that item. Oh, Cypher, Cypher misses, misses the it. jump! Wow! Uh, he would have died anyway, and Skillson would still have 100, 200 armor, so... No harm done by missing the jump. Oh, the patience oh, from oh, Kilson is second. being massive. Yes, the second rocket is completely out, but... <laughs> Likely for him, he still has a lot of armor behind him. Yeah. Kilson's gonna get this yellow, he's gonna go down to uh, the grenade. Oh no, he's gonna rocket jump up to shotgun instead. And this should be his red armor. Nicely done, Kilson. Can't clean up a kill, but he's weakened the Belarusian significantly. He yeah, can't lose control. Do now? Does he want to chase Cypher right now and risk taking a lot of damage? Or does he want to just wait for Cypher to go to that rail? He didn't do any damage there either. So he might just go to the top yellow or wait for its yellow to spawn and then keep circling the items. Cypher will have some armor to work with now though. And he might even try to wait in, in the mag health. Unless Kilson drops immediately. Yep, he does. And Cypher just evades the area. I was going to say, if Kilson doesn't get both the major items and a yellow there, naturally Cypher's starting to get enough stack to be comfortable in pretty much any fight. Yeah, Cypher should have around 100 armor right now with all the shards and the yellow he took a while ago. And Kilson even trying to be on this yellow. It's already assuming scary. that Cypher would be there. But we now know that Cypher is taking that, off, that bottom yellow. So Cypher should have 150 armor. And Kilson dropping down, this is so risky, but the first rocket is very good. That oh, amazing first rocket, the LG is going to be enough. Kilson is in the lead now on the second map. He's going to get one rail. Is the second going to land it? Will directly between the eyes. This is uh, excellent plays now from Kilson. This is what a lot of people were hoping to see from him today. Cypher starting to feel the pressure in the 125 FPS March League. Oh, the next rail won't land. Kilson, is he going to find another angle? Be too greedy. There's still 20 seconds for the major item oh, spawn. Nice. He just needs to go back to the bottom yellow, keep circling the items right now. There's no need to be aggressive. He's missed time on the Mega, I think, by 10 seconds. He's sitting. I guess that's why I was it. trying to be a little bit aggressive, because he thought he would just stack up immediately. Because if he took a little bit more damage there, Cypher could be attacking at his Mega Health right now. Oh, he's Cypher behind him, but I wonder if he can get onto this uh, red cleanly. Well, Cypher won't show his face again. Kelson just got to keep control. Don't go for risky frags or anything. Just make sure those items keep coming your way. Yeah, he can just choose to play passive now. He shouldn't go for any major fights. Whereas what about Cypher though? What's Cypher. he gonna do? He already has 150 armor. He's Cypher, okay. he, he just needs to surprise Kilson. How is he going to surprise Kilson when the German player has such great reactionary aim? I'm gonna have to switch over to uh, Cypher's point of view in just a moment. And I'm gonna do it right now. Yep, he just had about 200 armor. And uh, this, is, uh, this is go time. He knows that Kilson is in the top yellow. How is he gonna 
plan a trap. One minute What's Cypher Force seeing right now? He's, he's trying to predict Kilsen's movement. No, Kilsen's probably not there. Oh, he finds him right here. Can Cypher Rocket be good enough? Oh, oh that rocket was... Beautiful to be honest. LG coming out, he took 225s, but Kilson outstacks him. That's GG! Kilson is on the board, tying it up and bringing us now to a best of three. Looks like Cypher might want to play it to the end, but he is accepting a defeat gracefully. Okay, so K Kilson's got a map. This means that Silence is definitely going to be in the bag, regardless of what happens uh, next map. So right now the story seems to be pretty damn close. Yeah. Impressive. Lovely round. And Lovely. the next map is going to be uh, Cure, I believe. Yes. And it's going to be Cure, yeah, then Silence, then uh, Furious Heights as the tiebreaker. Each of their map picks favors the player who picked it. Yeah. <laughs> GG, guys. Uh, 10 to 6, the final score. Very well played, Kelson. He wasn't in the lead the entire game. He had to make a four frag comeback uh, when it was down 6 to 2. He had a terrible start as well. I mean, it was tragic that missed jump on the red armor, but he, you know, he kept yeah. his head together and he didn't get too anxious. Yeah, how to come back versus Cypher when you have such a horrible start. Man, that was... Uh, I would be so annoyed if I if I had that start. Like, it's the kind of start that you lose focus almost for the entire game unless you really have that champion mindset. Yeah, I did stuff. see in this map, though, a couple of sleep-ups from Cypher. He, again, he stopped showing up at the major items, but unlike Lost World, he... I mean, he stopped taking them, but uh, he didn't show up to do the damage. Yeah. And that's really when True. things started going wrong. Kilson just started stacking up a lot and going for those really fast fights. Now there was a lot of times towards the end, yeah. especially where Kilson, I was like, okay, I'm getting really nervous because I'm seeing Kilson make that jump for the red armor. I'm expecting Cypher to be around the corner. And he was just never there yeah. for like three reds in a row or something. I, I was kind of. Um, and he started doing that, confused. going completely passive on the major items with like four or five minutes to go. Mm -hmm. So Kilson had a long. A lot of time to prepare his comeback. Um, what about Cure though? Is this is this a map that Kilson can do some damage on, or do you think Cypher's gonna definitely? I yeah? This map, uh, Cypher likes it a lot because of the surprise element you can get on the major items. You can just let the opponent take them and do a ton of damage. That's the kind of thing Cypher really likes. Okay. But versus Kilson with his reactions, Kilson can do exactly the same. I think right. it's gonna be all tied up. I'm going to go for a prediction on there's going to be two overtimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, we're going to get into game. It's the third map between uh, Kilson and Cypher. Uh, I'm going to start with Cypher. He's got that red. He should head over to rail, presumably. Kilson jealous already. A little bit. But Kilson has got the yellow. Cypher. That's Ooh. such a great move from Cypher. Like two rails. Right there, and he still has 100 armor behind him. He could just go for a really fast frag right now. This is why I really love this map because he doesn't need to just play the items, he can just be as sneaky as he likes to be. And he realizes where the player is and skills, and yeah, that could have worked really well, but it just didn't. The shotgun switch was absolutely perfect from Cypher. He's doing great damage, but he's starting to get weakened quite a lot. He'll have the 50 health bubble. There's a, there's a mega right behind him. He can just go ahead and take it. But here comes the damage once more from Kelson. He doesn't have many more weapons in this, and Red is going to be up. I think Cypher's going to give him that allowance of 50 extra armor. And uh, whatever scraps he finds on the side. And second for the major odds, we have the Cypher knows where Kelson is. This is where Kelson can become really, really dangerous. Because Cypher does not know exactly where he is. Oh, he finds him. With a little bit of damage as well. So Kilson right now, can he actually steal the red? He has enough time to go ahead. Does it take some direct rocket immediately after? Yeah. No overly aggressive moves on Mega Health, but he gets the rail in. This is this is nice. Very tidy stuff from Kilson. He might even rocket jump up to the yellow. Oh no, he didn't want to jump back in there. Cypher yeah, that's being what he silent. Didn't want. Cypher knew that since he didn't do the damage, he needed to do a bit of damage before the red was up, so that Kilson would just spend all of his time stacking up and not attacking at the red. However, Kilson did stack up really fast. He's good to go for another fight, but he does not 
still have enough stack to go for an LD5. And dropping down there is definitely over-aggression. Cypher's seriously good at those angles. When people are dropping down from that grenade or top uh, green armor area, he, he just completely nailed that, that trajectory. It's, it's fantastic. Kyoso gets out of view in the nick of time on this occasion. But what the hell has he got to pick up? There's barely anything around him. Did he? I thought he was going to ninja away that red again. I think it's Cypher's heart almost skipped a beat then. Kyoso finally has that trail. I guess he's going to try to play this very defensively, but just dropping on to Cypher right there. He needs to land three. a couple more in. Oh, that's three. Oh, misses the fourth, but he's going to get another one more rail for the kill. Oh he's going to land it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, he <laughs> gets the rail and magic happens. That, uh, that is annoying. Not and even 20 seconds after picking up the rail, he cracks <laughs> Cypher. This is why Cypher 2 just stand in the rail. Just kill him and stand in the rail. Don't even move from there. Cypher was thinking, well, he hit one, he won't hit two in a row. Okay, he hit two, that that was crazy, but he definitely won't hit three. Okay, this is just getting stupid. He'd need a miracle to hit four. What the hell is happening? I'm dying so fast now. Now that's Kilson for you. And well, Kilson thought he was above. This reads yeah. the sound cue. Well, now he definitely knows he's above. <laughs> Oh, the switch, very late switching to the LG, but he's making it work. Cypher, a little micro dodge from the rails. And Gilson's the one picking up this mag health. He has enough time to go back to the red, but he's waiting for Cypher to make a move. This could be very smart from Gilson, but Cypher, he evaded that quite nicely. And if he goes to the yellow, Cypher could ninja away the red. Oh, snap, oh, rail won't land. He's going to do it, and Gilson does no damage whatsoever in there. How much health is Cypher on, though? He's on 100, 120 right now. So a little bit ahead of Kilson. Yeah, because Kilson should have the control, but try to be a little bit, uh, try to be too smart and did not work out. That actually, that rocket, that is, rocket gonna is gonna even gonna pick help. it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, awesome shot. There might be a trade on the I two. Was Kilson's gonna get the red? Cipher, did he run over? Yeah, he did. He jumped onto Mega, but he's gonna take a rail on his way down. Rocket switch pushes Cipher through the teleporter. Oh, that was so fast by Kills, isn't it? Yeah, Cypher, he wanted to do damage there, but he didn't even have an angle. And Skillson just keeps piling down the damage. He could be getting a frag really soon if Cypher keeps showing up at the major items. I guess this is why Cypher stopped showing up at the major items in Bloodrun. He again, he has a, a three frag lead now. Does he want to do what he did in Bloodrun? And hope for that, uh, for what happened there, not happening here. I'm seeing some insane levels of focus from Kelson at the moment. I really yeah, want this he's, so bad. He is reading Cypher perfectly. Every time the Cypher wants to do damage from any corner, no matter how sneaky he's trying to be, Kelson knows exactly where he is and he's trying, and he's always doing damage. Oh, awesome rocket! He gets the next one! Only two Cypher frags between them. Was exactly 100 100 in there. <laughs> so those two directs, that's what yeah. did the trick. The yellow's not gonna be up. I think he heard Cypher, yeah. He needs to think about the weapon. Cypher did not pick that LG. He's probably going to pick up that railgun though. And that uh, had a great pick from Kilson. He's, he's really focused right now. Uh, man, it's, it's crazy. I'm, I'm loving this so much from Kilson. But he's still got a lead to chase. Oh, yeah. The rockets are starting to hurt. That position is very, very thin. This is going to forfeit the red altogether. Go back to the yellow and pick up whatever armor there is in the map other than the red. Oh, there's the green. This actually <laughs> even helps. Just those uh, plus 25s are nice. But only one rocket left. He might have to go for a switch immediately. Well, he's going to back off straight up. Dodging's not too bad, but he's starting to miss the rockets. And 68 health left, however. Oh, he's so rail. weak. He's going to have to back away. As long as he backs away without taking a frag, he's still okay to go. He's four minutes left. But he cannot get caught off guard by Cypher. And I think Cypher knows exactly where he is. Yep, oh, there's man. Cypher. Br brilliant trap from Cypher. He wants to secure that lead once again because it was looking a little bit shaky. Kilson was well on his way back in this, but it's another rail here from the Belarusian. Re-extending that lead. He wants this map number three. It was his pick. And he wants to go on match point. And now Kilson... He's got to somehow find his way back in control. Get all those weapons going for himself. 
and do it with much left time uh, on the clock than there was before. Yeah, he, managed, he managed to get 100 on 100. In mode major items are spawning. Now I think Gilson should know the timing of both. He's already trying to get the red, but Cypher comes in really fast. Oh, football. And, yeah. Yeah, solid damage. Kills oh. actually blowing himself up on Cypher. He yes. might even call it GG right there. He just wanted to die because he missed the mega jump because of Cypher's LG damage. And this He's is set him so far crack. back. Yeah, kill Cypher, look at the rockets that he's starting to hit now. Yeah. He's Direct rockets at the those angles are incredibly hard to hit. <laughs> oh my god, even that one. How is he doing this? Stop it. I, I don't even know. You can't explain rockets like that. He just has such a great understanding of where the hell you are and in, and in just split second uh, reactions. I mean, this is it with two minutes to go. Kelson's looking at miracles or GG. And Cypher, I think that he's hungry for more frags. He wants to really dominate Kelson after suffering a loss on Blood Run uh, on the previous uh, the previous map they had. But it's okay. I mean, Cure going to Cypher is exactly as expected. The map where he he really excels at. Mm -hmm. However, Silence. Should be a different story. Yeah, Kelson's been awesome there in the past, but I, I've seen some very strong, uh, well, both of us together have seen some very strong performances from Cypher on Silence as well, so I'm not sure it's going to be easy for Kelson by any stretch of the imagination. No, I, GG! It's versus Cypher, it's never going to be easy. Oh, that's absolutely right. I'm just going to switch up those scores a little bit. And we are going to head over to map number four. Cypher's on match point. Is he going to be able to get himself to the 125 FPS uh, monthly grand finals once again? You can sit and wait there for the uh, the conclusion between Cooler and Evil that will happen after this. You know, the only map Kilsen gonna get it? Can he where, do it? where Kilsen actually has a, a QL ranks advantage versus Cypher is campgrounds. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's going to go in the April League, who knows. Hopefully. They're just going to do an April Fools for you. They're going to put campgrounds, they're going to remove it on the 2nd of April. Right, let's go into game. It is looks like uh, Silence is starting. I'm going to have to watch Kilson off the beginning of this one. He's going to be spawning in red. He's thinking of actually going for an early rush. Huh. This is a little bit sketchy. He's not even been Except able to get the LG instead, yet. but no LG. He gets a rail. He's alright with that. Oh! oh. Don't kill yourself. Ah! Oh my goodness, don't <laughs> stop killing yourself. This is just... What oh. the hell are they doing? One rocket left. He's got rail still. Rail. He's gonna hit it! I can't believe okay, that's it. that's gotta be the uh, most ridiculous 30 seconds from <laughs> this map. I've never seen stars like that, but Red Maybe does get taken in though. He still had 90 armor left when he died. Yeah. So, oh man, Cypher was a little bit mad at dying at the beginning, so he's going to come back in. He's going to be able to grab some armor, he's got a mega health, and now he's looking to get back into control. Such Kilsen, a shame for Kills is losing health. Look at how frantically he's looking for Cypher. He, he wants to land the rail, but he just can't find him, and Cypher just runs at him. That's going to be another track. Did you see the lift that Cypher gave Kilson on that vertical LG? It was as if he hit a direct rocket or something, the amount that Kilson was bouncing back. Kilson running through a teleporter, can he get yellow? He's probably feeling a little bit sketched out about that, it. That could have been such a great steal from Kilson. And it still can be, but no, he wants to go for it. Cypher is really waiting for Kilson to make those kind of moves. When Kilson expects Cypher to be uh, reading Kilson to go for the rail, he tries to go for the mega health instead, and Cypher just countering Kilson's counter read. Cypher's pretty weak though. I, I don't think Kilson's stacked either, but. He's done some really solid damage. Is Kilson going to spawn in yellow? He does. He actually picks it up instantaneously and Cypher didn't even hear it. That actually gives chance for Kilson to get some uh, oh, very Cypher useful cannot weapons. be dropping for this mega. He's dead if he drops for it. But he's going to do a ton of damage. Yeah. Oh, oh man, the direct... Oh, the yeah. follow-up! That's, that's really Cypher in a nutshell. Not going for the item, but just even getting the frag with the rockets. 
Yeah, beautiful plays. Kilson's gonna need to, I don't know, get the rail, land tons of them. He's just hit two in a row, but Cypher also hitting very hard. Every miss is, is very painful for Kelson. And with Red and Mega up simultaneously, Kelson would love to get on this red armor. He can't quite push Cypher off of it, but the damage is good. I'm not sure it was good enough. Well, he's... Looking for him, he spawned at the LG, so he could... Oh my god, if Cypher lands a rail, I think I'm gonna cry. Okay, good. Because <laughs> that rocket did just enough amount of damage for Kilson to be railable. I gave Cypher way too much time to get in position for that shot. Kilson didn't need to double back again at the end. LG, he needs Cypher in. He needs this frag at the, at, uh, at the red right now. But Cypher, he can see below. Oh, the 50 oh. health bubble wasn't enough. One HP remaining for Kilson. He's just trying to break away. He manages to do so in time, but he might have to forfeit an item or two. Well, he has the rail. There we go. There's the Mega. He's not going for it straight oh. away. What was that double jump for through the tally? Yeah, I don't think he, he kind of meant it like that. I think it was a, an overexcitement double jump. <laughs> that makes any sense. Kills is leaping though. Him. Oh, he's actually going to steal the Mega health. And he goes away with his life. Even more impressive. Oh, uh, well, barely. For a little bit. What, how's he alive? I have no clue. He's still alive. <laughs> and he's going to be stealing the yellow. Okay, and he should get the rail. I don't know if he got the LG. I'm pretty sure he shouldn't have. But red, is that on the cards for Kelson? He's over at the other side. He does land the rail, and now red's spawned. Kelson's and making his way there. The wow. That's gonna be the red for, for Kilson with the 50 HP, and now Cypher is going to be dying because he missed time the Mega Health. I can't wow, believe Kilson the, goes to the rails though to get the, the, the kill. That is the biggest mistake I've seen from Cypher yet. All day, all day, man. We all haven't day. seen anything like that. And Kilson just wants to move in. He's excited to get the frag. The rockets are good. Really, really good rockets. Ah, Kilson looked like he was in a bad place when he started losing out at the beginning of the map. Even though he got first frag, he lost so many, you know, more kills back to he's back. He's still hitting 68% rail, and we've seen the shots he's going for. Completely ridiculous stuff. He'd love to go for that mega first. He's got time for it. Yeah, he is perfectly Before timing red. every item for the second, and Cypher might be a little bit off with his timing, and Cypher needs to step up. He's timing right now if he wants to get back into the, the item game. And Kilson wants to play it much faster than Cypher did when he was in control. So Cypher needs to be on his toes right now. If Cypher hit that air rocket when Kilson was jumping on the bounce pad, then Cypher would have won the red armor. Well, if he hits, if he managed to hit all the air rockets, he should. Then it would be unfair on other Quakers, so. Exactly. <laughs> And this is a Kilson's really thinking about how he can maximize his damage whilst yeah, he wanted really to go keeping fight. control. That was, that was a good play break because he wanted to go for a fight before picking up the major items. And Cypher somehow managed to duke the way around. He almost gave himself a chance to steal one of them. But Kilson is still going to be able to go for the red and just going to bully Cypher. And now he's 200 200 again. So maybe in 20 seconds Kilson will try to go for another fight. Or if he managed to get Cypher off guard, which most likely won't happen. He doesn't need to rush it though. He just needs no. to make sure that he keeps full control and he at least lands a bit of chip damage here and there on Cypher. Yeah, exactly. This should be right. it though. Cypher yeah, doesn't even get the yellow. Yeah, very, very good attack. I was Kilson actually timing the yellow as well. Would, if he was, he was just extrapolating the time. He could get another frag. Doesn't oh, matter if he that much damage because he'll, be, he'll have the red. And he could just kill Cypher when he's going for the mega, like right now. That's his perfect timing to take the kill. Kilson. Now has full control over the map, and Cypher is in a really bad place. Kilson's going into absolute beast mode here with the rails. Seven Eight to six. And rail. Let's have with a look at that. Impressives. That is just ridiculous. Cypher feeling the pressure. Oh, this is surely what he would have expected when he knows he's got to go up against Kilson. That rail should secure Kilson the red armor. No, Cypher makes a jump for it, but he's in a lot of trouble. The rockets! Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That was Nine seconds, Cypher is gonna pick up a weapon and run back at Kilson. Well, the machine gun will have to do. Can Cypher clutch this? Kilson's gonna back off. Kilson starts to choke. Kilson Ooh. just missed a ton of rails right there. And Cypher is going to get the Mega somehow. The bell oh, is he? he didn't get it. Is he gonna get it? Finally, he got it. How much damage will he take when he gets out of there, though? Not much. Not much, not much at all. And then Red's up. Kilson, he decides not to go there. Cypher's still moving in with the LG, and all the rails are really starting to add up. Kilson, he can go Finally. for that angle. 
The skills and I, I believe you feel it feels like he missed a lot of them. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable how that hit. That 25 stand. health bubble, Siphon knows how dangerous it is. Kilson misses what was possibly the easiest shot of the evening. We can tell he's he's feeling the pressure so, so much. From oh, he started yeah. to do a lot of damage with those angles LGs, and there's a frag for the Bellow Rush, and now he's going to be able to get the Mega. Oh, but he wants to chase Kilson before getting any of the major items. He wants both of the items, and he's going to be able to get them. Kilson decided not to go for red. And to try and steal one of the other items instead. In the end, he actually does get the red armor. But he now only one frag lead. This is sketchy. He's gonna jump for railgun. He knows it's a valuable asset. Cypher just wants to close in the distance. He knows he kills him, does not have that LG just yet. He just wants to get it done with quickly. I don't know, this is not safe at all for Kelsey. Cypher right now is in, a, is in the match point advantage. If he wins this map, the series is his and he'll be going to the grand final. Kilson's the one who needs to stay alive. I think Nine he's protecting seconds Rail. to go. Oh no, Kilson oh. goes on the battle, but Cypher, oh, the I LG, the tracking was horrific. Yeah. I think if he went for an air rocket, he would have had better chances. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. How is he gonna close it in distance versus Kilson though? Does he want to go for the fight now? Because he has the red uh, after that. Yeah, he wants to go for a fight and then he'll have the red. He maybe already took too much damage. He should go for the red right now. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, the damage. Risky. Now Kilson could land the rail and just. What? Yeah, that's, that's a, that was the biggest mistake Cypher has done. Forget the timing mistake, that was the biggest one. Being way too greedy in there. I'm trying to after think the first how rocket, it works. Cypher should have just backed off. Uh, that, that is. An amazing world class move from Kills. I can't believe he brought that back. Cypher, he was moving as if he was safe to walk into the red armor, getting those 25s, just uh, trotting along. But Kilson just found the opportunity. He felt that Cypher was railable, and indeed he was. But with 30 seconds to go, Cypher's gonna get another frag. Is this over? Well. I have no idea. No, it's there's still there's still 20 seconds. Cypher is desperately searching for crack. He knows the red's up, but he can't go for it. He's making every no, risk possible, but Kilson shuts it down and brings it to the tiebreaker. 12 to 9 for the German on silence. Two to two. Die, that's that was Ten sick sick plays, man. Kilson beat Cypher and go to the grand final. <laughs> And make us not watch an evil versus evil <laughs> in years. Uh, that would be the first time this year, maybe something like that. I I don't know, dude. That was that was incredible. Kilson is is delivering at the moment, but this is where it is the most important. Can he keep it together? He says in chat, Kilson is back. Yeah. Uh, I like. Right, well, let's let's just have a a quick look. Yeah, you got you guys can feel you can guys can feel the Kilson love right there. Uh, well, if Pike kills and he's back, does he mean he's not going to retire anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's let's not look into it a little bit too much. How much rail percentage did he hit at the end of that? Uh, was, around like 59, 60. Okay, because he was like 70 eight or nine impressive. Truly astonishing. I, I bet even Cypher is now starting to feel pretty nervous because the only person he's actually had to be worried about this year has been Evil. And now Kilson is just, I, he is breaking into this tournament. And he might even yeah. break into the grand you finals tell, at the like, moment. Like after the first map, Cypher stopped being ready for what Kilson was bringing to the table. He stopped going to the major items because Kilson was just doing so much damage. Mm -hmm. And when Kilson's in the zone and his aim is on, it's really, really hard to stop it. You can tell though that Kilson really wants a result like this. He doesn't want to retire on a negative note. Exactly. At all. He wants to have something solid on the quick live resume. Uh, the motivation is high yeah. right now. Absolutely. Cypher's and reading out. The support out. from everyone is really high as well. For sure, for sure. Uh, it's on Kilson. He's going to decide when the game starts. I think he's going to be taking a deep breath because that last map was really tense. I'm, man, we're seeing, we're not even at the grand finals yet, we're seeing such insane world-class action, I feel. You know, there's sometimes there are tournaments where I feel like only the grand final is really where I see Quake at its finest. But really? this, this semi-final is just amazing at the moment. I usually see the worst games in the grand finals. I'm not even joking. <laughs>
It Usually depends this, on the, the grand final. The grand I think. finals are blowouts, and the the real the games to look out for are the semi-finals. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I hope that the grand final is even half as good as as this uh, best of five is. And uh, well, I think Cooler versus Evil was possibly even more heavily anticipated than this. So we're going to have to find out. Kilson's just ready up. He's hit another impressive and he is ready to go. Guys, is Kilson going to make it or is Cypher going to get another grand final spot? We are going to start T7 on Cypher's perspective. Oh my god, why does he drop down? He spawned above the rail. That Okay, how do you make a spawn mistake like that? Uh, he needs to just land every single rail. Which Can is totally know? possible. It is. <laughs> doing a mistake from the spawn, that was the thing that I would not expect from Cypher. So now he needs to land the shot, but... He's landing them. What? He lands what another one. Damage he is ridiculous. Another... He does land it. Okay. A huge mistake of the spawn and suddenly he lands everything. No I don't know if he was landing everything or if Kilson was just walking into. Kilson was waiting for Cypher to just come at him because he had the LG out and he knew that if he dropped before the red was up, Cypher would just take advantage of that with the rail. Kilson does come in right there. So it doesn't actually take that much damage, but it's a really sick rail from uh, Cypher that's going to push Kilson him out of the room. Wants Two more seconds, and Cypher is like, okay, I might just let you get that Mega because I just landed rail after, and now you're still railable. Mm. And Cypher got all of the armor in the map, so we have a Kilson that has less in starting stacks, and wow. Boy, Cypher got, he got massively stuck, stuck on that. Kelson trying to do some good damage. This yellow is going to spawn, but Cypher was... doesn't have much more to collect. No, that was very, very good damage. Kelson could just go for a, a very aggressive attack right now, and he's doing it. Uh, is the plasma good enough? <laughs> no. Uh, he hit Cypher the sweet spot low. for a bit. And Kelson do enough damage in here. Nobody might be able to get the Mega, so Kelson's still all right to go. Oh, yeah. However, he... the next frag is when it's what's going to decide. This Depending on who the frag goes to, Kilson will either completely go completely ber berserk on Cypher or he'll have to stop the game and think. Yeah. And it might be berserk, yep. Yeah, we'll go with option number one. Thank you, Kilson. And he's gonna get that red and that door is open for the railgun now. That Cypher was trying to protect it for as long as possible, but he's realized that he's just got to give up on it and accept whatever fate is around the corner. It's gonna be one rail. He managed to dodge the second. But Kilson securing those big items. He might even go for that yellow before red as well. He's picking up everything and Cypher just a in the center lot. map, listening to Kilson, waiting for a mistake of the German. So Kilson, as long as he's completely solid, he should be fine. But when does he want to branch out and go for a kill? That was a very late pickup on red, and I don't think Cypher heard it. He might have if he's in the dark spot. No, he was just outside of it, so I I didn't hear it on me. Kelson's LG, he's gonna get himself on the board, and that was is a very clean frag. And uh, we got Mega up in a second, but I don't think Cypher wants to stand anywhere near him. But what? Okay, S silent movements from Kelson. He gets a bit of damage. He does take a direct rocket, but look at the amount of health and armor he still has. Looks like uh, Bruno's gone for an emergency dash away from the computer, so I'll supply you with all your attention and anal analytics. <laughs> oh, here we, here he goes. I was like, what, rather, Bruno, you can't miss out this game for anything. Still plenty of time left. Kilson, he's trying to stay focused. Doesn't want to be twitching too much of those rails. Oh, oh Cypher, he might just... Made yeah, a move he's on him. Steal the mega. So Kilson need to be aggressive onto the yellows right now. He needs to pick up both of them. And Cypher's already trying to be aggressive. But this could be a positional mistake from Cypher. What's he doing in here? How's he gonna get out? He's kind of stuck. Like, that combo almost worked. How much damage did that rocket do? About 30. Okay. That was just the rocket trying to bounce Cypher to give himself the rail angle, and he did give him the rail angle to Kilson. However, the rail did not land right after. Oh, that was so important. Cypher had 100 armor up until there. And Kilson now knows he can push in for a fight before the Mega spawns. He should have a huge stack advantage. He's just gonna move in. He's got enough LG to secure a kill if he wants it. He goes for the spin vertical. There's the LG, but he actually jumps back a lot himself. He took a lot of damage, so he cannot be going for a fight. Cypher just gained another minute to live. And a huge opportunity to challenge at the major items right now. However, Kilson still knows that Cypher does not have a rail, so he needs to pay special attention to that weapon. Let's see, where is Cypher? 
Major item spawning near at the same time. Kilson might just let the red go and go for the mega, but he needs to still do the damage at the red. That's why he's looking for Cypher now, to just land a rail. To make sure Cypher won't be 200-200. And you can see Skillson, he's favoring the mega because he needs the health. But he needs to do the damage on Cypher and he's not doing it. Cypher is really Cypher so moving. Yes, yeah, Cypher is just four feet to the red, or is it? Oh yeah. no, the rail shot misses from Kilson. He's gonna go with rockets now. He backs through to get a yellow armor. But it's so tense, these fights right now. Cypher can be happy in the lead, but it, there's he still a very has small a lot of uh, armor gap. To work with. He has 150 armor. This usually is not is as much as Cypher needs. And he's, he's still his position in center map, listening out for sound cues and for errors from Kilsen, but Kilsen is just the one waiting for Cypher to make the moves, always getting a little bit of damage. There's the red up again, and he did enough damage, so he just needs to go for the damage after. The red, that red does not land. Kilsen, does he want to go for a fight right now? Well, Cypher brings a fight to him. Oh, the rocket doesn't hit, the rail does! 28 health left for Kilsen, Cypher can't be much stronger. Well, I think he just got the 50. And Kilsen knows that he's the one with the rail. Cypher does not have that trail, so he's gonna be waiting for Cypher to move around the map. Where is, why isn't Kilson at the red? Kil Cypher is just going to steal that red away. I think Kilson might have mistimed the mega for a couple of seconds. Or just for feet to the red altogether. Oh, he's cleaning up the whole room though, so I mean, he's managed to get quite a lot of resources. Cyphers yeah, but he let Cypher get the, the red. Impressive. And the rail. But he's doing the damage, and Cypher's not really replying right now. Kilson's could drop down. And he's actually secured the red after that, so in the end, I don't think it's too bad for Kilson. It's just, you know, time gone from the clock. Oh, yeah. did that hurt a lot. Cypher, well, he's not going to stick around for another round. Kilson yep, needs Cypher, more ammo. Now he's going to pick up the other yellow, and Kilson knows that the stacks are very, very even right now. And Kilson needs to approach this fight with a lot of care. And the, that rail does not land. That rail will give Kilson the advantage he wants. Cypher just moves in. I can't believe Cypher actually got that jump working. He's going to land the rail shot. You know, the craziest thing lead. is that Cypher did more damage to Kilson than Kilson to Cypher there. That's phenomenal. And we've got just over three minutes left. Kilson is on the brink of defeat. So this is still plenty that of time. That was four minutes of solid control by Kilson. That, and he could not get a frag on Cypher. And now he only has three minutes left and he needs three of them. And he's not in control. He should be able to secure one of these big items, Cypher. He's gonna push on by. No, he doesn't. He's, he's gonna take, all right, take the mega health, it's take, yours. Yeah, he's just gonna take the, the red. And Kilson, very important, he already has all of the weapons to work with. That trail does not land, however. Kilson just giving himself the position to, to be able to back off to the red. But Cypher's doing a lot of damage. Cypher could be very, very aggressive nasty. here. This could be the final move of Cypher if he gets it done. Oh, yeah. he does get the kill as well. Kilson can't hold on to his life. Kilson really needed that red armor. And he's not going to oh, be getting no. that. could be the good game. Uh, well, we've got to see what kind of composure Kilson's got right now. Can he try and hold on? and make a miracle comeback. I'm thinking of games like uh, the ones he's had against Evil on Lost World, but against Cypher on Furious Heights, this is gonna have to be beyond uh, excellence. And I think Cypher, he's just like, I'm controlling the items. Now it is time for you to get nothing. He's got that yellow that spawns behind. He can go grab it if he wants. He's looking for a bit of damage, so he's sowing some uh, hostility still towards Kilson. And he just spotted him. Impressive. And I think Kilson may have just been denied uh, many more seconds on the map. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, he's just even got his back turned as well. Cypher's playing brilliantly right now. He is just over 70 seconds away from another grand finals in the 125 FPS monthly league. And he's trying to set up a trap. He just wants to get a, another frag just to secure it. Kilson will get another red armor, so he's heavily stacked, but he's giving himself no time to get frags. I'm going to go over to Kilson's point of view. More rails. He's in fact railable now, and Cypher's oh. going to shut him down. GG is called from Kilsen and Cypher is gonna beat the German three maps to two. And, and that's yeah, the end of our semi We did have a five mapper. We did.
We absolutely did, and uh, it was glorious. But uh, Kilson just couldn't hold on to it when it when it counted the most. Oh, I mean, Furious Side versus Cypher is such a hard matchup. You d we saw from the beginning, I mean, Cypher got uh, a lot of frags, and when mm -hmm. Kilson got in control, around the two-minute mark, very, very early in the game, he had four minutes of solid control, but he just couldn't get the frag on Cypher. Yeah. Cypher is just getting one yellow every 40 seconds, and still on 150 armor. This yeah, really I, imp impressive out of control play. Kilson made. Um, actually, no, it was Cypher who made the horrible mistake at the beginning of that map. Yeah. But he just. He turned it around. He's 